Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about amortization for premium bonds. So basically, uh, if you uh, buy a bond at a premium, then the premium amount you can amortize through the rest of the term to the maturity. Uh, let's see, this is required by IRS. So uh, this example here is from IRS publication 550, uh, five, chapter 3, investment expense, page 33. So you can find it there. So basically, uh, IIS say here is how to figure out the, the amortization for the bonds issued after September 27th, 1985. You must uh, amortize bonds premium using a constant yield method on the basis of the bonds yield to maturity determined by using the bonds basis compounding at the close of the each actual uh, accrual uh, period. So, uh, then this example, uh, here we look into this example, say on the February 1st, 2019, you bought a taxable bonds for the 110 sovereign. So you have a price here, 110. So the bonds has a stated uh, principal amount of the 100 sovereign. So this basically is the face value of 100 sovereign. You will receive this at the end of the maturity. Uh, payable at maturity, so they tell you payable at the maturity uh, 2026. Making your premium is $10,000. So you can see your price, you pay $110,000, then you at the end, you will receive $100. 10, uh, 100 sovereign, so you'll have a 10 sovereign premium. So the bonds pay qualified state interest of 10 sovereign dollar. So basically, uh, tell you that coupon rate is 10%. So you will receive a coupon, which is your interest payment, 10 sovereign. Then your yield is your yield is eight point zero seven four three nine percent compounding annually. So I have the yield is the yield to maturity here. So usually they don't tell you the yield maturity. So based on that giving all this information, you can calculate the yield maturity. Just so quickly, uh, show you here they bought this bonds in 2019 February so mature in 2026 so you the rest of the term is seven years once you have all this information you can calculate your year maturity use this formula so you can see exactly you get the same year to maturity so once you have this information we can figure out the premium amortization the amount you have to amortize it. How this works is first, uh, you have to uh, f figure out the first one, the year to maturity uh, times the adjusted basis here. But the first one is you use the year to maturity is here times the price because the first year the adjusted basis is you bought the price. So it's you then you get this number you can see is yield to maturity times the price so you get this number. So once you get this number, so you you subtract this from your qualified interest ten thousand dollar, then you get the premium amortization. You can say here in the example that exactly tell you say. When you subtract the result, you can see the result. We have the same thing here, a a a one point eight three from the qualified stated interest ten thousand. So here I tell you, you uh ten thousand you minus this number, so you get the the premium amortization for the period is one one thousand one hundred eighteen point seven. Uh, 17 so we can uh, we get the exactly same thing so 
we are on the right track. So this is for the uh, 2020, once you figure out this, then your textbook interest in 2020 basically said, you know, I if I don't have a premium uh, amortization, I will pay 10 thousand. Uh, now I have a premium amortization. This will reduce my uh, my interest uh, income uh, for the tax. So your tax for amount is the ten thousand minus this premium amortization. You noticed that this is exactly equal to the year maturity times the adjusted basis. So, uh, we want to know the premium amortization because. We have to use this to figure out the next year to the basis, adjusted the basis. Adjusted the basis, the first one is equal to the price minus the premium uh, amortization amount. So you can get this, this basis. You can see this, you use the price minus the uh, amortization amount. So you get the basis. Once you have this basis, you have to figure out the next year's the you 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 use the year to maturity times the basis. You use the year to maturity times the basis give you this number. Once you have this number, you can subtract from the qualified interest. Then you get the premium, uh, premium amortization. So, uh, then you have your textbook interest is ten thousand minus the premium amortization. You get the textbook, textbook, uh, interest income, right? So the same thing. You go to the, uh, twenty, uh, twenty, two thousand twenty second. Uh, so the third year. So basically, uh, it's the same thing. You use the year to maturity times the last year basis. You give you this number. You t uh, you use this number subtract from the qualified interest. Give you the, uh, premium, amortization amount. So you can see your adjusted basis is reduced by your premium amortization each year, uh, all the way until the maturity. So this at the maturity, your basis exactly equal to the face value. That way, you do not recognize any gain or any loss at the end. So make sure you uh the number is exactly like this. So uh then your premium amortization amount reduce your taxable, uh taxable income on the interest. So that's how you do it.